Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antique Serena. My name is Walter Neal, and today I'm going to show you a bit of an art haul I've had in. Um, over the Christmas period and so on, I've had quite a bit of art brought into the shop. And I bought a little bit of car boot sale uh, the Saturday before Christmas. So, some really, really nice pieces. Uh, this first example I'm going to show you now, I bought in this morning at the shop. Now we have a bit of animation art. This is a proper animation art. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's a cell or what, but it's classed as animation art. It's Betty Boop. It's a beautiful piece. It's a decent size as well. It's not uh, small miniature ones. On the back it's all uh, canvas backed and everything, so nice quality. And it is a beautiful image. Betty Boop playing golf with the hearts cut into the mount. Now, as I said, that came in this morning, but fortunately for me, it also came in with a certificate of authenticity from Park Gallery. Um, it's got a registration number, animation art, Betty Boop Golf Mini 2001 8x6, seen from the edition limited edition of 9500 so there's 9500 of these prints or lithographs whatever they are done it then also comes with an appraisal form from the same gallery well they don't mean a lot because they always hike up the prices uh, for resale and to sell the stuff out and i've got the address here so i'm not gonna in fact i'll sh cover that and if I go like so, you can see, basically, the following work of art has been examined by Park West Gallery, current Park West Gallery retail replacement price for this work is, so the replacement price is how they've priced this up, 600 US. Um, obviously the terms and conditions are all on the back of the appraisal, but basically what they're saying is, if you went to them, the cost of them to replace that would be 600 US. That doesn't mean a lot in the resale world. However, it will look better for someone who wants to buy it, but the price is, doesn't really mean anything. I rate that at uh, between 100 and 150 pounds. Uh, I'll probably ask 150, but more often than not, I'm gonna get knocked down to about 100. I paid 60 for it, so I've paid enough for it. But the girl that come in, I have bought a few bits off her in the past. And uh, to be totally honest with you, it is a beautiful piece. It's going to look amazing in the shop or on eBay, whichever one I decide, and it will sell. I have looked online, and they they are available. Not as nice or as big as this from a hundred. Uh, they go up into one fifty to two hundred. You have to excuse my uh, I fell up with a cold again. Winter flu. Uh, winter bug. So that was the uh, first piece guys, really really pleased with it, £60 is enough money to pay but you know what, I liked it. <coughs> right, my next piece I bought in Splot Markets Christmas, uh, the week before Christmas and we have a watercolour. It's an original watercolour and it is by Rosemary Barrow. So it's going to be a scene, well, Pilton. So just a little village scene, really nice. Now, Rosemary Barrow is a listed artist, and believe it or not, she's actually got art in the Barnstable Museum. Um, so she is a known listed artist. She died recently, um, I think it was in 2019, only last year. And from what I could read on Google, he said, local Barnstable artist, uh, Rosemary Barrow, cremated in a coffin surrounded by her artwork. So her coffin was covered in all her artwork when she was cremated. Talk about taking it with him. But she didn't take this one with her. Um, as you can see, I've priced it up at £95, which I think is a fair price for a listed, well-known artist who was exhibited in museums. 
Uh, price wise, that would cost me a tenner in slot. So, good profit markup for me, but I still think there's a markup for somebody else. There's a profit there. This next piece, again, come from a splot market. Uh, this one is by HGR Hook. Now, I couldn't find a lot of info out about this artist. However, there are quite a few pieces of his art for sale on eBay and in all the local auction houses have sold some of their art. And the average price they pull in seems to be between 70 and 100 pounds. So that's what I've put on this again. 95 pound purely because of the prices they are pulling. No info on the back, so I'm never going to find out where this one is. But a nice original watercolour again. And come in the same sort of money, uh, 10, 15 pounds, somewhere under there, in splot. It didn't come in this frame though. <sighs> Bringing it home, typical on me, um, dropped it. So I've had to reframe it and re-glass it. But that does, that's okay. Wayne done a wonderful job down the road. And it cost me an extra tenner for the uh, glass and frame. However, really nice piece. But again, £95, I'm happy with that. <coughs> again, we have another original watercolour, guys. I think this one is Sue Morgan. Now, I have done some searching online again. I haven't been able to find the artist info. However, I found quite a few Sue Morgan paintings, very similar in theme. But this is really nice. You've got these stone lions, if you like, or creatures. as water fountains in a landscape in a garden somewhere. Really nice. Original work of art. Signed, £75 I've put on it. We'll see what offers I get. Again, nothing on the reverse. And again, come in for little money. I think again it was around the tether. That was it with the paintings. I did have um, a couple of prints come in. Uh, this one here, bear with me, bear with. <laughs> we have a Terry Harrison print, but this is a signed edition. So we have a signed Terry Harrison cricket print. The last stand by Terry Harrison. And again, didn't cost me a lot of money, a few quid. Uh, I'm not being funny, the frame's worth more than what I've paid for it. But I'm going to be asking about £30 for that as a nice framed print and signed. So, um, as you know, I don't do a huge amount with art, but when I've got original watercolours coming in, 10 and £15 a piece, and they're listed artists, and they're ready available on eBay to buy it at £100, I'm not going to turn them away. The Betty Boop, I don't think that's going to take long to sell. This is one of my favourite images. I really love it. Uh, and I honestly think that will go now in the next week or so. If it doesn't, it'll be up on eBay, but that is such a beautiful image. Of Betty Boop and I've actually got a couple of Betty Boop collectors that come in the shop so this one is going to be priced up today and hopefully sell pretty fast guys I know it's not loads of items but oh god I love buying anything that somebody has worked their whole life learning a skill and then put love into something I'd rather hand painted handmade uh, and all the imperfections that come with it than mass produced to, uh, by machines any day of the week. So hopefully you've appreciated having a little look at the few art pieces I've bought. Well, if you haven't, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you have, thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.